please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a quick little game overview for you. It's called Snack Attack and it's from Think Fun. It's one of the ones that we used to have at our old site and when we left that old site we left all the toys behind and I haven't didn't have a copy for myself so I was very happy to find one. It was $1.99 which was awesome. It's rated ages four and up. It says matching, visual recognition, memory and concentration and I will show you how to play. I like this game for a little bit of cause effect and and some social interaction and I really like that it's got lots of S blends in it. So super simple uh, game components. We have these little plates and there's four foods on each one and you can choose which side you want. I think blue had the wild one on it but so it has five circles and the red has four circles. So I always played with red but if there's always a kiddo that likes blue then they can use blue as well. So there's each one of the plates is different. So it comes with this base and it has this, it kind of spins around like this. And it says spin, match, and stack. So here's the small bits in this little Ziploc bag. I did check it and I didn't get all the circles, but I did get enough to play with. So, and it's missing the lid as well. I think there used to be like kind of a cover for the top. You can see it here in the picture, it's yellow. And then the whoop, and then the bottom just gets inserted into this little round circle. So put those ones that fell out back in. So what the idea is, we'll play with two players, is that we took turns and when you spin it around, it fills up the empty holes. Maybe not there. So what I want to do with my card is grab things that have a match. What, you, what you're supposed to do is put the one down facing the other. So you're supposed to put these two peppers face to face and then you get a different food on the top. And then you, it's kind of a race game. You can kind of see if there's anything else that matches. Oh, I can, I can match this sandwich with this sandwich and then I stack. Is there anything else I can match? No. So then my turn is over and then the next player gets to spin the spinner around and kind of fill up the spots that got emptied. Yeah, this sometimes happens, they kind of come loose. And then that next player is gonna look for things too. So we can put popcorn on top of popcorn, milk on top of milk. So you're trying to get as many at circles as you can. Cheese, no, cupcake, no. So that turn is over. So it's kind of like one full circle. Oops, and you can see they're kind of getting stuck. Okay, just spread them out. Fair game. So now I'm gonna look for chicken. Chicken, chicken, they're the same. Flip it over. No carrots, no sundaes, and no juice. So that turn is over. So again, if there's something on that spot, it shouldn't pick out anything new. This is a good place to stop where there's nothing ever accumulates. So that's it. It's not super complicated, but I find that my preschoolers have a hard time with it because they don't really understand they're supposed to put them face to face. They try to match like this, but not like this. So it is a bit of a twist. Yes. So you need to follow some directions to be able to do that. And then remember the direction from turn to turn as well. That's also a trick. So you kind of have to watch them when you play it first so that to see if they're listening and following those directions. Round around, that was a good one. My turn. No carrots, no juice boxes. There's a sundae I can take. So I think it's supposed to be like a fast paced kind of game where you go so, so, so fast that you just grab things like willy nilly. But when I'm playing my speech and language games, I have to slow them down a little bit. Peanuts, 
no Sundays. So I have to slow them down quite a bit in order to get them to be talking as well as playing. Because if they're moving too fast, they don't say anything. No carrots yet. So we're going to add a little bit of a standstill. You can just grab whatever is here. We're at an impasse here where none of us have any of those pieces. I'll just take them back and put them back in the top here. And we're going to spin it again. It's really smooth when you're spinning the first time. There we go. Carrot. Juice box. Lots of carrots. Nope. Maybe my opponent can go. I use it for S blends quite often because of the nice spin, or my turn to spin. And then stack is another good word. Stack and spin. And you can also add the S's in there for same or Sunday. There's cupcake if you're working on the, and carrot and chicken if you're working on the k sound, so there's lots you can do with it. It's fun to they like to spin it. There we go, carrot. Stack the carrot. Stack the peanut. Oh, stack the apple. I can keep going. And then my turn is done. And then I can say stop if I wanted to, and then that's another good S blend. So that's just a cute little game I wanted to show you and I wanted to play it, I confess, because I miss playing it at work. So if you like this video, you can give us a thumbs up. Comments are disabled because I had to mark this channel for children as some of the items on the screen might be appealing to children. So that's why the comments are gone. Um, but if you'd like, you could follow us on Instagram at speech fairies, all one word, and you can leave us a comment over there. That would be great. Um, I really miss that kind of interaction between um, viewers and us. So if you have a chance and you want to check us out on Instagram, I'll try, I'm trying to put stuff up more often so that I can keep you coming back for more. So if you'd like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And those who have subscribed, we're very grateful to have you part of the Speech Fairies family. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.